Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about issues and options with electric vehicles. And the main thing that we're going to be talking about when we talk about electric vehicle, for instance, is the batteries that are assigned to this electric vehicle. So, batteries. Battery. This is the factor which is main uh, concern when you buy a uh, electric vehicle. So this is the thing that we're going to be talking about. First and foremost, what we're going to look is the value change of battery electric vehicle. So how are the components forming together and the end of it? And by the end of it, I mean, what do you do when your duty cycle gets over? If you don't know what duty cycle is, I'll explain it in the next slide. But for now, what first step is that the battery makers use the components from the raw materials and provide a cell production. Once the cell production is done, the cells are then combined into modules. So the module productions takes place. Once the modules are combined together, and you can have modules such as like this, this is converted into sheets which is known as the module. Once this is completed, we are doing an assembly of different modules packed together. So this is the assembly of modules and battery pack. This is including electronic control unit and a cooling system with it. And at the end of the presentation, I'll be explaining the cooling system a part of it. Now, once the modules are packed together which are looking something like that then the integration of the battery pack is happening to the battery vehicles so once this is done they need to design it in such a manner which can be placed inside the vehicle itself once it's placed inside the vehicle which might look something like that what's going to happen is that the vehicle is using that battery until the duty cycle is happening once the duty cycle is done this is the part where what will happen and what is the strategy that's going to be designed so this step is mainly related to duty cycle dc okay now let's understand what duty cycle actually is so first and foremost we know that everything has an expiry date okay and just like the battery cells that we pack together and we have if this is a battery cell we will have many cells inside this okay so what's gonna happen is that these cells into the sheets are called module module okay and this sheets this is the entire sheet sheet of battery so this battery sheet are having cells that are already used up and are about to expire you can say or the battery charge inside them are going to wear out and it's not functioning anymore even if you charge it because this lifespan the lifespan of this has gone so to order to know this the lifespan lifespan is completely abrupted and demolished for this cells what you might want to do if you want come across this situation is that you go over to your next auto shop and what you do is take this take this sheet and replace it with a new one now what's gonna happen is that you have new one in your car and your work car is gonna work perfectly but what really happens is that this lifespan of the, this thing is about 10 years. So the lifespan is basically what the duty cycle is. This term is actually used in electric vehicle technology. So the duty cycle is basically the lifespan of the battery cells, the modules that are present in the sheets of battery, which are about 10 years okay so we now know what the duty cycle is now what really happens once the duty cycle is over which was the question that we asked over here so let's take a look at it once we know 
that all the process has been happening from here this is the manufacturing part so the manufacture material manufacturing is done once the material manufacturing is done it goes into the product manufacturer the product manufacturer uses this so it's being used and technology is being placed inside the EV once it's done the 10 years lifespan is done once it's done it's being disassembled and replaced once replaced it goes back into cleaning so the all the cells that we started off with the modules are then done into cells the cells into components as well now in doing so what we have to do is clean them inspect them treat them if they are faulty or something and then reassemble them once we have reassembled them we put it out for testing purposes whether is it functional is it okay is it tested okay is it working appropriately once it's done it's used as a secondary product or something like that so the primary product is the cells that are being manufactured from the raw material as well now this testing once the testing is completed what's going to happen is that it's being used in a secondary vehicle so the second class application for the vehicle that's where the battery is being used now to put all this thing together and i did mention the cooling part as well now let's go ahead and take a look about how it's being integrated so what's really happening here is that you have a battery sheet which are here this is the pack container so inside this container you might be able to see layers and layers of sheets so technically what you do is pick this box up and then replace the battery and this is what you see the battery here the cells present inside this are used in a lithium-ion battery obviously when there are so many cells over here we need to provide a heat sink which takes away the heat as much as possible to keep the battery as cool as possible all right knowing this what's going to happen is that this surrounded the area surrounded are the circuits here present this is the pressure plate this is the compression plate this is another electronics plate what's going to happen here is that these devices are being put in purpose because if this heats up together too much it's going to reduce its heat and cool it down so the cells inside don't explode this is the whole idea of putting this technology around the battery cell knowing this we come to the conclusion that the development of EOL strategy of EV batteries should be made out as well as overall efforts to transform auto industries without adequate and substantial EOL strategies of EV batteries the transformation in its initiatives of auto industry might not be very effective and the degraded battery in EV is replaced with a new one and then degraded battery is treated with remanufacturing process for secondary lower performance application so in short what's happening here of what we studied about the issues and options is that one of the issue that we have is what really happens to the battery if we have a battery that looks like this and then we have if you were to say this is the battery sheet and this is the whole battery layers of sheets which are present over here okay so this is the battery how it looks like and then the layer goes on and on this is self-explanatory and what's really happening is that this battery once it's being manufactured it has a duty cycle and then it's being remanufactured disassembled one by one and then put into a secondary application so this research paper is about how the functioning of a battery that has completed its duty cycle the lifespan how we should employ our technological resources in order to remanufacture recycle perhaps so we can securely reuse them 
and this information may be crucial and might possibly generate a huge amount of revenue if we use it in the correct and appropriate manner if we know how and how how and where to use this or employ this technology in what purposes so this is the main article that we have been uh, learning about and uh, I hope you like this video and here I have shown you some of the duty cycle the structural analysis of how things are being made and remanufactured as in this case and if you do understand this give it a like thumbs up and thanks for watching